Good morning on this fine December, quite chilly morning. Workshop's a bit cold today, so I have the my little teeny tiny trusty heater cracking on. Um, Christmas is coming, and my kids are Harry Potter mad, so I'm going to make two uh, Hogwarts themed signs. I know they are backwards at the moment. It's Hogwarts and Diagon Alley. Just to show you what it looks like, but as a bit of a change, I'm going to be making these out of a section of old pallet. Now this is it, I've taken it down, I have examined it very carefully for nails, bits of metal, all kinds of things, because I don't want a router bit to hit a nail when it's going 30,000 RPM. So first thing I'll need to do is clean up this piece of wood. Okay, step one, I'm just going to run it through my planer. Alright, now I'm just going to line up my little templates so I can cut the wood to shape. Trim those to shape with my table saw which I'm still very happy with. Okay, I got images taped down. Now I'm using my cellulose thinners, you've seen this before. I'm just going to wipe that on there. Now, even though I'm showing you how to make these, I don't prescribe uh, uh, selling these. I want to get anybody in trouble with copyright infringement. Okay, now you can see what the signs will look like. Give that about two minutes, so now I have to do the spoon trick. Okay, let's see what we got. Alright, for these two, I'm going to do Diagon Alley inset, and I'm going to do the Hogwarts sign outset. Alright, here we go with the Diagon Alley sign. I've got my router set up with the 3mm spiral upcut. We are set about 3mm out. And you've seen me do this before, so I'm going to high speed it. Okay, so it's all carved out. Now it's just a quick sign. And... Ready for some stain. All right, just to finish this one off, notice I did the two sets of uh, uh, borders on this one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give the top of this the surface a really light little chiseled. Uh, in fact, I want a little bit of pattern in the top without influencing this. So, back in a bit. You're getting the idea of that, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and show you it again. Pretty much done. Just have to kind of do in around the letters. And for that one, you just need to be so careful 
make sure you have your sharpest chisel on hand and if it gets dull definitely don't try to continue or you will just pop these letters out but I wanted to show you something more around the edge and here it's just going to be kind of getting that corner in there and taking it down a bit just going to straighten out the edge give the this might sound strange give the inset letters more of a outward experience appearance sorry Okay, reaching the curves, it's going to start to go across the grain. So instead of a scoop method, you got a twist. Okay. All right, that is that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the jigsaw, carve the outer edge out, stick it on the router table, and uh, give it a sand, and we're all done. And that is the end of that one. So it's a, see what I was talking about with the barrier? It's had a nice sand effect. So it's both a inset and raised carving. Edges still need a little bit of sanding. And I'm probably going to do the inset letters white and the background, sorry, inset letters black and the background as white. Hope you guys like this. Thanks for watching.